Hello everyone, myself Professor Shahana Shengupta. Presently, I am associated with Swami Vivekananda Institute of Modern Science, Kolkata as an assistant professor in the Department of Microbiology. I would like to welcome you all in my YouTube channel. In my YouTube channel, I usually share different kinds of academic video related to different fields of biological sciences. Today, I have picked up a new topic for you all that is HLA or human leukocyte antigen. Let's start with our journey with a new topic. Happy listening. Let's start with the human leukocyte antigen or HLA. HLA is the pillar of transplantation biology as well as it is one of the major part of immunology. Discussion of HLA basically starts with major histocompatibility complex or MAC. MAC is a group of genes that encode for proteins found on the surface of cells that help the immune system recognize foreign substances. The MAC proteins are found in all higher vertebrates. These are located on the short arm of chromosome 6. In human beings, the complex is also called as human leukocyte antigen or HLA system. HLA basically is a group of tissue antigens controlled by chromosomal region bearing a number of genetic loci, each with multiple alleles that have relevance to transplantation, rejection, reaction and other immunological phenomena. It serves as a unique identification maker for every individual. Following transplantation of a graft, the recipient mount an immune response against the graft's MAC molecule and vice versa. The two main types that code surface glycoproteins are MAC class 1 and MAC class 2. MAC class 1 proteins are found on the surface of virtually all nucleated cells. There are approximately 20 different proteins encoded by the allelic genes at the locus A, 40 at locus B, whereas 8 at the locus C. The MAC2 proteins are found on the surface of certain cells, including macrophages, B cells, dendritic cells of the spleen, and langural cells of the skin. MAC also encodes a variety of proteins such as complement system proteins, cytokines and enzymes that are called MAC class 3. Let's talk about the structure of MAC class 1 and MAC class 2. MAC class 1 proteins are heterodimer in nature, composed of polymorphic alpha chain linked non-covalently to similar non-polymorphic beta microglobulin chain. Alpha chain is organized into three basic subunits or extracellular globular domain named as alpha 1, alpha 2 and alpha 3. MAC class 2 proteins are also heterodimer, consisting of non-covalently associated alpha chain and beta chain. Both of them are polymorphic in nature. Each chain contains two extracellular domain like alpha 1, alpha 2 and beta 1, beta 2 respectively. Let's discuss few facts about HLA and MAC. Already it is known to us that HLA are the MAC products present on the surface of the leukocyte. There are presence of three genes namely HLA-A, HLA-B and HLA-C code for class 1 MAC protein whereas HLA-D determine the class 2 MAC protein in three different loci, namely DP, TQ and TR. 
there present many alleles of the class 1 and class 2 genes for example there are at least 47 hla a gene 88 hla b genes and 29 hla c genes and more than 300 hla d genes but any individuals inherits only a single allele at each locus from each parents thus no one can make more than two class 1 and class 2 protein at each gene locus expression of these genes is codominant that means the proteins encoded by both the paternal and maternal genes are produced each person can make as many as 12 hla proteins three at class 1 and three at class 2 loci from both the chromosomes between the class 1 and class 2 genes loci there is another loci the third loci called class 3 this loci contain several immunologically important genes encoding two cytokines like tumor necrosis factor and lymphotoxin and two complement compounds like C2 and C4 respectively HLA is extremely polymorphic it is one of the most polymorphic genetic system in human being associated with each of the loci is a set of alleles each of which give rise to the production of a unique antigen specificity is expressed on the cell surface and that can be detected by specific antibodies or immunologically activated T cells most individuals inherit a set of non recombined hla alleles from each parent these genes are codominantly expressed thus if the hla types of family members are determined segregation of hla types within the family can be used to construct the hla types from each chromosomes the set of hla alleles found on one chromosome is called a halotype determination of halotype is important for identification of hla identical siblings because sharing of antigen from different halotype is always the common let's talk about hla typing hla typing is a kind of sequencing based genetical test It is basically used to identify certain individual variations in a person immune system. In this test, donor's antigen expressed on the surface of the leukocytes or their genes are matched with that of the recipient. The closer the HLA antigens on the transplanted organ match the recipient, the more likely that the recipient's body will not reject the transplant. Value of HLA matching between donor and recipient varies in different solid organ transplantation. In kidney transplants, there is substantial benefit if all the polymorphic hla alleles are matched let's talk about the hla typing methods for typing of the hla antigens there are used cellular serological biochemical and dna methods for hla class 1 typing their following tests are used like cytotoxic test that means serological test cml test or the cellular test 1 d i e f that means biochemical test rflp sso ssp pcr and sbt all are dna based methods for hla class 2 typing cytotoxic test cellular test mlc that means serological test rflp sso ssp pcr and all other dna based methods are used dna methods represent the modern trend in the area of hla typing 
and it will probably replace larger part of the other HLA typing techniques. HLA typing is having a significant role in the clinical sector. It is performed before any organ transplantation like kidney, bone marrow, pancreas and hearts. HLA typing provides evidences of tissue compatibility. HLA antigens expressed on the surface of the lymphocyte of the recipient are matched against those from various donors. HLA A, HLA B and HLA DR are major transplantation antigens. The rate of success of transplantation with the number of identical HLA antigen is increases as it reduces the risk of complication after transplantation. Repeated transfusion also can lead to the problem of autoimmunization and alloimmunization that can be avoided by prior ABO compatibility testing and HLA typing testing. An association has been observed between HLA types and certain autoimmune disease like ankylosing spondylosis. Evidences show that this autoimmune disease have multiple genetic and environmental factors. The HLA typing supports the diagnosis of this kind of disease. The HLA antigen of the mother, child and allied father are compared for any sorts of dispute in the paternity. When an HLA antigen of the child cannot be attributed to the mother or the allied father, then the latter is excluded as the father of the child. HLA mediated diseases are directly involved in the promotion of cancer. Uh, HLA molecule play a protective role recognizing increases in antigens that are not tolerated because of low levels in the normal state. Abnormal cells might be targeted for apoptosis which is taught to mediate many cancers before diagnosis. Thanks a lot for your patience. Please do subscribe my channel. Stay tuned for the upcoming videos in different fields of biosciences.